One of them is the very thoughtful gentleman from uh, Newburgh, Indiana, Mr. Bushan. At this time, I'd like to recognize him for two minutes. Two minutes. Mr. Speaker, I rise today for America's financial future. We're at a time when we need to make every effort to save our nation's credit rating. The rating agencies have said that raising the debt ceiling is not enough. While I would have preferred the cut, cap, and balance plan, the Budget Control Act vote today and the balanced budget amendment vote tomorrow is the best remaining approach to reduce spending and help to avoid a downgrade. We can institute real reforms today as a first step in a long path to fiscal stability. However, the bill isn't perfect. I wanted more and frankly, all of our constituents deserve more. The reality is our friends on the other side of the aisle won't allow it. With years of reckless spending by the federal government, instead of making tough choices to address our spending problems, the other side wants to raise taxes on the American people to continue funding Washington, D.C.'s spending spree. In addition, they want us to give the president a blank check to get him through the 2012 election. Well, that's not going to happen. The United States has always maintained a AAA credit rating and the threat of inaction by our colleagues in the U.S. Senate, and no plan offered by the administration puts that at risk. The House has and will take action. We need to send a clear message to the American people that we are willing to make the tough choices and work together on behalf of our nation's citizens. I urge all of my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to support this bill and take the first step to restoring fiscal responsibility to our nation. With that, I yield back.